Drug screening for offenders is being made more convenient through an automated urine test system. It's developed through a partnership between the Singapore Prison Service and Home Team Science and Technology Agency, and they're calling it a world first. We take a look. This scanner here makes use of biometric technology to register an individual present for routine drug testing. He will then move to a waiting area before being alerted to enter a cubicle like this. Drug offenders who are serving out the tail end of their sentences and placed on community-based programs will soon be able to undergo this fully automated and seamless process. A test result will be out within 10 minutes all done with minimal supervision from prison officers. Since trials began in September, it has already detected drugs in some offenders who were then referred for further evaluation. Individuals who try to cheat the system, be warned, they are technological safeguards. We use uh, non-optical sensors in our system to detect for uh, potential foul play and we make use of deep learning to train the system on what is uh, real urine being procured for, from a user and what is being pre-prepared. Yeah, so our system uh, is able to detect uh, differentiate. The move to use technology for drug testing was down to a need to reduce manpower spent on labor-intensive tasks. Currently, officers are required to manually register, supervise and conduct drug tests. Multiply that by 5,000, which is the number of urine tests carried out each month at the Salarang Community Supervision Centre in Changi. The time saved will allow prison officers to devote their time to more value-added work. They can channel their efforts at looking at analytics. We can go back to our rehabilitation, uh, our program administrators, and then, hey, why not this particular group needs more attention at this area, at this phase of their program? That works better for us because resources are limited. So we channel resources to people who need it based on their needs. There are plans to deploy the new system at more locations upon approval after the trial ends in February 2024. It will be more convenient for those who have to undergo routine testing at their nearest centre instead of travelling to the Seoul testing site in Changi. The prison service adds this will also give drug offenders more ownership over their reintegration into society.